Hello and welcome to the intermediate tutorial. I don't really have much to talk about in the beginning like I usually do, so let's just begin. By now, you should have noticed the weird shapes and tetraminos under the characters in the select screen. The character that you pick for this mode does matter, as the more Puyos you have will make it easier to continue your chaining. These things tell you what shapes of Puyos you will be receiving and your special tetramino or your changing mino. I will show you what they all look like. What you want to do is lean more towards characters with the S and Z Mino, because the S and Z Mino are harder to work with, as well as the O piece, because of the fact that it can be a free extension to your chain. Except R, L, and O, of course. I have listed out the characters from best to worst on this chart, based on their drop set. Take this to heart, because this alone can dramatically change your performance. The next thing I want to talk about is building while chaining. I won't go over everything as some techniques are more advanced than others, but I'll show you how to build with your tetraminos. If you decide to build a 3 wide, then be sure you have your Puyos in the well, and leave 3 or 4 columns Puyo free. This is so you can place the tetraminos down quickly without smashing the Puyos to delay your piece. But let's say you get garbage on the side without Puyos and you have already begun your chain. Are you screwed? The answer is no. If you smash only garbage, this will only delay the next piece slightly, so you can still place down your pieces while continuing your chain. The reason this works is because when you smash a regular Puyo down, it has to take time to smash and redrop the Puyos to their new location. But garbage doesn't get a new location, they just disappear, so they don't take any time falling again. One last piece of advice before I go. When you're in an online match, many players will begin their chain early on, and early on they will end. It is a great idea to watch these players' boards so that you don't get harassed into a loss. Instead, fire back with your big chain. Be sure to build up as high as you can, though. This ends the intermediate tutorial. There wasn't a lot to do with this one, but there'll be plenty more in the Grandmaster tutorial. And possibly the last tutorial. If you can't find anyone in Puzzle League or Freeplay, consider joining our Discord server for tons of people to face off against. This is Sir Butzalot, signing out.